Okay, so this direct is simply Brandon. to Brandon. This, I, I appreciate Brandon. you having me on Real Talk. Mm-hmm. I, if you don't believe it, it's okay, oh, but I, I do appreciate you having me on and the uh, the banter we've had. So, that mm-hmm. being said, uh, my five reasons. Peace and blessings, y'all. Welcome to Goat James Kingdom. On this episode, we will show how LeBron James haters cannot explain why Michael Jordan is the GOAT of basketball. What we have here is a gentleman by the name of Spencer Martin. Spencer Martin has been trolling Brandon for the past few weeks, saying that he will come on GOAT James Kingdom show and expose us about Michael Jordan being the GOAT of basketball. So we created a new segment on our show where we will allow people to come on and give us five reasons to why Michael Jordan is the GOAT of basketball. This segment will be called exposing gjk and you will get five minutes to actually speak on five different separate cases one minute per piece to why michael jordan is the goat spencer martin is the initiator of this particular segment so let's go on ahead and let's see how he does explaining why michael jordan's the goat all right so yeah. basically you we're, we're just going to give you a minute so you know state, to state to one, right? you, yeah yeah okay okay yeah Perfect. So the first one <laughs> is individual and team dominance. Um, basketball is a individual, is a team sport played by played by individuals, right? It's a team sport played by individuals. So you have to look at both sides of the coin, individual and team sport. More than any individual, um, more than any individual, Michael Jordan has regularized or dominated. And I have some points here, some visuals that I could either send you or share right here. I'd like to point out, Chris Broussard put up an individual comparing the greats uh, of LeBron, uh, uh, Kareem, and MJ. And when you look at it, uh, the 10 things about team individual, looking at seasons, titles, repeats, finals, MVPs, league scoring, scoring champ, rebound, assists, steals, blocks, first team, all defensive, career per rank. Jordan is actually doubles minute. many of them. So again, team and individual. All right, all right. That. That's that's a minute. So the okay, first perfect. minute, you you didn't talk about anything. You didn't state what? any case that Michael Jordan is the greatest. You I did not make one point why Michael Jordan is the greatest. Brand, not one. Brandon, okay. <laughs> explain your reasoning. How did I not make one? What what was? I don't I know what point you made. Can't. Okay, so clearly we can see Spencer was not ready for Goat James Kingdom. He had no idea what we were about and what we were about to do to him on this show. He is supposed to be explaining to us why Michael Jordan is the GOAT, and his first reason was Michael Jordan's individual and team dominance. But he mentioned nothing about Michael Jordan's individual dominance or his team dominance. So again, these Michael Jordan fans come on the show claiming that they're going to expose us and explain why Michael Jordan is the GOAT, but they cannot explain it well. He is doing a horrible job explaining this. Watch what happens when we press him about MJ's supposed dominance. Now, Spencer, this is the this is the point. You you said dominance right so we're trying to figure out where is i didn't this say domin- dominance when i say the word That's dominance the thing you said individual and team dominance individual and team dominance individual and team dominance that's the that's the number first one. Thing you said. That's the first case. Jordan's individual and team dominance. So you're saying that correct? Jordan and has, looking at both and looking at the whole picture, bro. He doesn't have looking no. He doesn't. That's not the whole picture because the whole picture would be all defensive teams, all NBA teams. Is Jordan even have more all NBA teams than everybody? Because you didn't even count all NBA teams. Let, let, why did you not count? Right, all, right. all, why did you not count all NBA teams? No. Will someone explain? Will someone re-explain? No, no, what no, I Spencer. Said? You, you, you shouldn't have been talking shit. Let's go to round two because again, the first round you you didn't explain yourself well. I, so let's go to round two. Okay, round so dominance. Yeah, so what's the number two thing? Go ahead. What's the number right, two? Thing? Give me the platform. So what's number round, two? Round two. All right. So round two actually plays off round one exactly. Points, mm-hmm. personal awards, and t- and team and team success. Okay. So you say Bill has more rings. Great. Wilt has more stats. Great. When you average everything out when you average everything out because winning and personal stats i feel are the two things that matter most and when you average everything out again jordan is number one he may not be the best in every individual category but when you average out basketball as a whole and you average out winning 
And it's Spencer, team level, individual stats. No, 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 let him speak. Let him speak. Jordan, Jordan is number one. I'll, and and I'll I'll end it on this. Look at his points per game. Look at him being the only player to win every individual regular season award. And I know it's a cliche comment. I hate personally using it, but look at the six and zero. And you can say it's because of Scotty and MJ and Robin. And I, I would, you know what? That's fair. You see that? That's a stupid bitch. No, will someone explain? Will someone re-explain? No, no, what no, I Spencer. As you can see, he's doing a horrible job explaining why Michael Jordan is the GOAT. And this is what they do. They claim they know basketball. They claim they know everything, but they don't even know nothing about Michael Jordan. They can't even explain to you why Michael Jordan is the GOAT of basketball and have the nerve to come on GOAT James Kingdom with this nonsense. Watch how Dexter catches him with this right here. Um. So who has the highest win percentage in Bulls history, Spencer? I... I don't know. Scotty Pippen. You see that? That's a stupid bitch. And there you have it. As you can see, he doesn't even know about Michael Jordan or the Chicago Bulls, but claimed to be a Michael Jordan fan. It got so bad for him that he started screaming out and saying stuff like this. No, will someone explain? Will someone re-explain? No, no, what no, I Spencer. You, you, this should not be this hard to explain why Michael hard. Jordan is go. It, it is hard. It should not be this hard. hard. It's hard. This should not be hard to explain why Michael Jordan is a GOAT. It should not. It really should not. Let's go to your third point. Let's go to your third point. Okay. Third point, please. Uh, level of competition. Okay. So I agree that the dynasty, that the Warriors and Spurs teams of 2013 uh for the Spurs were 2016 um dynastic teams but when you look at the, the totality of records of the six teams that Michael Jordan played in the finals compared to the totality of records that LeBron James played in the finals this is what you come to 39 and 123 is the overall record for the 91 Lakers 92 Blazers 93 Suns 93 Su 96 Sonics and the two Jazz teams, 39 and 369 and 123. The teams that Jordan played, or LeBron played, their totality, the 2014 Warriors, 16 Warriors, 16 Warriors, 13 and 07 Spurs, and 11 Mavericks are 384 and 108. That is a mere two wins, a, a little over two wins per, or sorry, a little over seven more wins per season for those teams, the, the incredibly more difficult competition that LeBron played than Jordan. And if you want to talk about jo whoever said, D, I think he said Jordan being swept by the Celtics, were the Celtics not a dynastic team that swept Jordan in the first round? Were they not an all-time great team? Were they not a team that swept Jordan even though it was his second year? Are you putting down the Larry Bird-led uh uh, 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 Celtics, because that's what you're doing is saying Jordan was swept by little competition. I repeat, more Hall of Famers via Sports Kid and via Bleach Report, more Hall of Famers in Jordan's era in late 80s, mid 90s, uh, in late 90s that played Jordan's time than any other time in basketball. And yes, you need to include uh, Tim Duncan, you need to include other players because. It's regular because Jordan's Wizards years are regularly compared on LeBron Kingdom and other fan pages when comparing him to Jordan. So the same to be object needs to be compared. Okay, go on. I'll shush and listen. You are to killing this. us, man. You're killing you us. You have you not explained what makes Michael Jordan is the GOAT once. How does that explain why Michael Jordan is the greatest? How does that even explain it? I mean, what, what are you talking about? He's what are you talking about? No. Will someone explain? Will someone re-explain no, no, what no, I said? No, 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 Spencer. You, you... you see that? That's a stupid bitch. Spencer Martin, you have now been exposed by Goat James Kingdom. You shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs>